it's actually the next morning. It is about 5.45 in the morning, and my wife is in the shower right now. And as you can see, she is getting about 120 degree water. But what I did was I was watching this. The tank started at 125. And boy, it didn't take very long for that to drop down to about 110. And then the unit fired at 120, of course. So now it's pumping in 140. And she's getting out 110. Well, I shouldn't say that. She's getting 115 because this sensor is sensing 110. Now she's taking it from higher up. But it's leveled off. So that's interesting. So if I want to maintain to make sure that at that point in the tank has at least 120, I'm going to need to turn that up. I was thinking about turning that up anyway. I'll see it's gaining. So she, you know, the, the shower, the shower really only draws, I believe, about 2.8 gallons a minute. Um, see, it's climbing. From my previous videos with the, you know, or testing with the Bosch, the shower run, when it's on, is using about 2.8 gallons per minute in that one bathroom. So, I mean, you got to figure we're drawing 4.3. So, you know, 2.8 is coming in from the cold, and the rest of it's coming, the rest of that 4.3 is coming from the tank. So the, the, it's going to catch up. Let's, um, I'm going to play with this. Hopefully I don't mess it up and she gets a cold shower, but, uh. So I'm going to turn that up. I'm going to I'm going to start doing this tank a little bit hotter. And what I noticed is these these loops are hot or they're they're nice and toasty and that furnace pump has not been on. So what I think has happened is just natural convection or is it's convection, I think it's called. The hot water is is going up and the cold water is coming into the tank and it's doing that just naturally. So what I'm going to do for now I'm gonna shut I'm gonna shut the furnace loop off so that that can't steal the heat anymore man this thing has a low grunt to it but we're gaining. Still getting 120 up there. Oh, and look at that. We're condensing. Look at that condensation coming off there. Isn't that cool? Wow. That is not a condensing unit. I don't think we're condensing a lot because Obviously, the colder the return water, the more we're going to condense. Um, and, and we're feeding in pretty warm return water right now. But I'll have to do the math. Yeah, see, we're already back up to 123. So it does gain. It, it does gain on it. Um, very interesting. I got up. Uh, usually, I get up after her. I'm usually awake, but... Uh, I, I wanted to rush down here and just watch this this morning since it's our first morning. It's kind of our first our first shower. <laughs> I told her hopefully nothing goes wrong. So it seems to be working great though. I think I've got that mixing valve dialed in perfectly too, according to this. It's, it's awesome.
also cool is if you notice, she's getting full street pressure, 52 PSI, 53 PSI on the hot water side. Normally with the Bosch, to get 120 degrees, it would choke it down and you would have, you would not have that kind of pressure. So, you know, and that's because of this setup where you're getting street pressure in the hot water tank. Look at this, we're already up to 127. So even with the shower on, it's going to cycle. It's gonna turn this off. We'll see how quick, we'll see how, okay, so just shut off. Okay, so shut off at 128 and I hit my stopwatch. So let's see how long with the shower on, the unit's doing its cool down, the flow is zero. I'm curious with the shower pulling at 2.8 gallons per minute, how long before this tank cools down enough to call again with a five degree differential. So now it's off. The unit's off. Tank's actually still at 129. I still hear the water coming down the drain over there. So she's still in the shower, 128, or I'm sorry, we're still getting, she's still getting 120. So she's never noticed a difference uh, other than it might've dropped to 115 at one point before I turned it up. Okay, she might be out of the shower now. So this test isn't gonna work because I don't hear the shower on anymore. But we're still at 129, so no problem. I mean, actually, I think the unit ran, well, I mean, it's, it, she was obviously in the shower for longer, a little bit longer than what the unit ran for but I do think the unit ran a little harder because it would have only ran at 2.8 gallons per minute. And I definitely wouldn't have it set at 140 if, if we were not using this system because that would be way too hot. Uh, probably would have it set at like 120, I guess, or even 105 like we used to with that thing. So yeah, I'm definitely using more natural gas to create more BTUs. But, you know, I think that burn time right there for one shower was only three or four or five minutes anyway, and her shower was probably a little bit longer than that. So, and I do not have the research loop on yet. Um, I didn't wire that Aquastat yet, so I was a little bit worried about how long it was gonna take to get hot water up there if she was gonna be waiting and waiting and, you know, I don't think it would have taken any longer than it used to with that, but um, within like 30 seconds, that gauge was up to at least 100. So, and this is still at 129. I think I'm gonna leave that at 128. Um, I like keeping the tank a little bit hotter for Legionella. Um, you know, that's a good number. I noticed when I had it set at 125, it was jumping about two degrees past my set point. And I think this probably would have gone to 130, but she was drawing on it a little bit at the end there. So I think that's why it kind of stopped at 129. I'm also wondering how much heat I'm losing, or I was losing through these loops. Um, it just goes to the furnace and back, but you know, there's gotta be some heat loss through this PEX. So I shut that off for now until I, I don't have that, um, the PVC drainage. I wanna redo that over there at the furnace anyway. So uh, 
there's no sense in just having it lose. And, and I, I want to kind of time this and see how long this tank can hold heat without any loss. So, anyway, I just uh, came down here this morning. The GoPro was sitting here, so I figured I'd turn it on and bring you with me. Um, tonight, after work, I th I'm going to wire that Recirc Aquastat for sure. I want to get that on. And then, uh, you know what? I was thinking about this laying in bed this morning at 2 a.m. <laughs> um, I think when I was playing with that Aquastat, I was worried. I thought that I had had it turned up to 125, and then I noticed that after turning the power off and turning it back on, it wasn't holding its set point. But then I do think I do. I went back and turned that down so that I could kick the pump on. Let's try it. If I turn the power off to this, it goes blank. If I turn it back on, is it going to remember everything? Yeah, it does look like it did. Yeah, 128, 5 degree differential on the... with the heating heating mode perfect that's great so then i can set that one and i can use my smart switch to turn it off at night if, you know I, I could technically turn this tank off at night too but uh, i don't i don't like the idea of that tank cooling off and that's you know that's like a breeding ground for legionella and you know Yes, if in the morning the pump will come on and go bring it up to 130 and kill everything or start to kill everything, but still, I, I'm pretty sure with the minimal loss through this, I don't think this, this thing comes on maybe once or twice a night anyway and, and runs for, what, two, three minutes? I I got to test that out um, at some point coming up here this weekend when I'm down here working and nobody's drawing hot water, I do want to kind of time how long it takes this tank to lose heat. But I can tell you it's not long. I went a couple hours last night. Um, I went upstairs, uh, watched TV with, with my wife, and before bed I came back down here and it, it still hadn't dropped one degree. Even right now I've been babbling for 10 minutes, it's still at 129. So overall I'm very happy so far. I want to get the other unit on. I want to start getting the heating stuff and the snow mount going ready for snow. But anyway, thanks for watching.